Hey guys, long time no see, I'm Rue, and today I'm taking you on a little behind the scenes trip on my key notes from the making of Game 34. It's been a while since we last spoke, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience and my favorite things from being able to work on Game 34. So let's get started. All right, picture this. You've been tasked with writing some really important lines for none other than the character Ned Nickerson, Nancy Drew's boyfriend, who is voiced none other than Scott Carty. Not only do you get to write some lines for him, you also get to meet him and you get to see and work with him when recording these lines over Zoom. And you get a little excited about it. Let's roll the clip. <laughs> God. <laughs> Like most of you, I grew up playing the Nancy Drew games. And so I started off as a fan before I became somebody who worked here. And growing up, knowing Ned as Nancy's boyfriend and mostly knowing Scott Carty as voicing Ned, it was a very cool full circle moment for me to be able to actually see him and like introduce myself to him through Zoom and talk with him for a little bit, as well as hear him record the lines. And just being able to I guess see Ned almost come to life in a way. It was such a cool experience and it was so much fun. And again, I don't even know if he realized how badly we were fangirling over him, but he was so nice and he was so sweet and funny. And Scott, if you're watching this, just know we are a big Ned stance over here. Thank you for being you and just making that experience truly so great and so memorable. Now, not only did I get to meet and work with the wonderful voice actor Scott Carty who voices Ned, but I got to also write some lines and meet the also incredibly talented Ken Boynton, who voices the golf ball himself, Carson Drew. <laughs> and I get so crying. <laughs> oh my God. I love my job. <laughs> I think I acted like any normal person would, right? Like a casual fan would also be hysterically crying after hearing the voice of Nancy Drew's dad speak, right? Right? Ken Boynton was also so incredibly nice and we actually were able to like sit and talk with him for a bit longer than we were with Scott just with the scheduling and how it played out. But it was really nice to talk with him and just to hear how thankful and humble he is for all the projects that he's done. Being able to kind of meet the voice behind these iconic characters from my life was a very cool experience for me and it was very, special for me and it was something that I truly will cherish. <laughs> now I did get to meet some other voice actors that have been working on Game 34 and are so incredibly talented, but I think I'll be saving that for another time. I hope you like this video and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.